Hey guys, it's Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert, and we're hanging out today uh, at Traeger HQ, getting ready for an amazing recipe. It's smoked mashed potato time, so let's get cooking. All right, so we're gonna get started here, and one of the first things we need to do is go ahead and uh, wedge the potatoes. Now, I'm using red potatoes today because I really like that flavor, but you could absolutely change this up a little bit. Uh, go with a russet potato or maybe even a Yukon Gold. Uh, and I like to wedge these guys just to give them enough uh, opportunity to absorb a little bit of water. And we're gonna cook them in water today, right? But also, one of the great things you can do is a little bit of chip in the stock uh, because that works out perfect to really add some flavor, enhance your potatoes. So we'll go ahead and get these guys cut. We'll try not to drop any more and we'll get rolling. All right, we'll add the last of these to the water. Now I'm starting off with cold water uh, because I really want these potatoes to warm up and absorb water. So what we're gonna do is uh, boil these until they're fork tender. Then I'm gonna take them about four to five minutes longer. Uh, I really want them to uh, absorb a little bit of water, add a little bit of moisture to our mashed potatoes. But while these potatoes come to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and smoke the uh, milk and butter. And the beautiful part of this is, I like to get this out on the Traeger during startup because I like to get a little bit of that extra smoke flavor in here. And it really uh, imparts that beautiful wood-fired finish. So let's head out to the Traeger. We'll get these guys going. All right, we've got the Traeger set for 400 degrees, loaded it with our reserve blend pellets. We'll go ahead now during warm up, let that sit for about seven to 10 minutes to absorb a little bit of that wood fired flavor. All right, we've got this all set and ready to go. Uh, we got a beautiful little smoke flavor. We're gonna head back in the kitchen. It's time to mash the potatoes. All right, so we just finished up smoking the butter and milk. I'll tell you what, absolutely amazing essence of wood in there. So let's check our potatoes here. Make sure we are set to go. Beautiful. We took them fork tender, but then we took them uh, about four to five minutes longer. We wanted them to be nice and soft. So now we'll go ahead and strain these and we'll be right back when it's time to get them mashed. So there's always two schools of thought when it comes to mashing your potatoes, right? There's my school of thought and then there's my grandma's school of thought. So you can leave them lumpy like grandma did or you can mash them nice and fine. So today we're gonna do a little 50-50. We do like half Chef Jason and half Grandma Marge. So we'll get these guys mashed up just a little bit here. Like so. Now we'll go ahead and add that smoked butter and milk. Get that in there a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some of that grated Parmesan, which gives it just a beautiful, beautiful snap of salt, and then cream it out a little bit with some sour cream. The cool part of our recipe is we always talk about season to taste, and you can really adjust that to your preference. So we'll hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Go ahead and get these all set, ready to go. Grandma would be proud that we're uh, paying her a little homage here with lumpy mashed potatoes and a little bit of creamy mashed potatoes. All right, so we've got these all mashed. Now, the great thing about this recipe is I have two options. I can go ahead and cool these down today and uh, reheat them tomorrow, really saving myself some time on Thanksgiving to uh, spend more time with my family. But today, we're gonna go ahead and put these into cast iron. Then we're gonna head out to the Traeger and get these finished off. All right, so we've got these all set and ready to go. Let's head out to the Traeger for a little wood-fired finish. All right, we are all mashed up and ready to go. We'll load those on 400 degrees. Now, I'll cook them for about 15 minutes, right? That'll give me really soft potatoes. But if you're looking for that beautiful crust on the top, hey, it's your recipe. Cook them as long as you want until you get that beautiful dark brown roasted top. All right, after 15 minutes, we are all set and ready to go. It is now time to get this back, give it a little garnish of green onions, and then, you know, a little bit of quality control before we serve the family. All right, we are hot off the grill, and now it is time to uh, do a little garnishing. So we've got some beautiful green onions today. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of chop these nice and thin, right? I don't want them to be uh, an ingredient, I just want them to be a garnish. 
nice and chopped. We are set to go. So now, a little bit of garnish on the top. Now, the cool part, this is your canvas, right? Think of this as, you could add a little butter to the top. You could uh, add some bacon or anything else you want. I'm going classic and simple today for my uh, quality control test. I wanna make sure uh, I make grandma proud with this. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I think she'd be proud. For more helpful tips and advice, be sure to visit acehardware.com or stop by your local Ace Hardware, the helpful place.